Hello. So today's little project is doing some restoration on this lovely IBM PS2 P70386 luggable. Um, the hard drive in it is beginning to show its age. So I've got this off eBay. This chunky ESDI 80 meg drive. Just scratches on it, two marks on it. The vendor said it was tested okay, but mm, I have my doubts. But it was cheap, so I'll give it a go. First of all, we have a look at the machine itself and see what the problem is, and have a quick look inside. So let's turn it on, and I'll show you the problem. As you can see it's got a nice orange gas plasma display. The hinges are starting to play up a bit though so it does come out but I won't get it out right this second. <laughs> see the six meg there. And it boots up. Boot up menu here. Let's have a look at this check disc. Shows that once upon a time a host for C there. This was double spaced, drive spaced. It's not anymore. But, oh, I, I didn't like that. And you can see it's got 81k of bad sectors. And I think it's the drive just generally dying. Because, as you'll see in a second, the bad sets are spread all over the drive. Lots of bees everywhere, bad clusters. So, I won't stress the drive anymore. So, let's stick the new one in and see how that behaves. Interestingly, you can see that there. Have a Mitsubishi. So this is inside of the beast. Very nice machine. 386DX20 GoPro. It's got six mega of RAM, three two mega SIMs. The um, 72 bin sims. The fourth one I do have but it was playing up so six is more than enough for the 86 I think. Two MTA slots, um, the micro channel work etc. Impossible to get cards cheap for. I've got a floppy expansion card for a second floppy drive but that's not much use to me. Um, a sound card would be great but they have absolute fortune. Or a network card would also be good. You see here, this is the VGA card. And that's the ribbon goes off to the screen. There's the hard drive. 
and this is my little floppy mod. I had to replace the floppy drive a little while ago. Um, the floppy gets power over the ribbon cable. It's not a separate cable, so I had to make up a little lead for that to work. But first of all, I'm going to get this drive out. Plug this eBay job in. That's probably a big card edge connector off. Massive connector, it only goes one way, so it's keyed. And slot this one in. Check out the battery as well, the battery lives up here. Miles away from the board, so even if it did have a leak, it's fine. <coughs> Dry spinning up. Pretty noisy. May you just see it on I've got the reference disc which is used to configure the BIOS. I don't know if the SCI drives auto detect on PS2s or not. No errors and it boots. And it has windows on it. Funky refresh on the camera, but it doesn't look like that in real life. Here we go. We've got Lexmark, mainframe apps, Microsoft Works, Display Right. Oh, no games apart from Solitaire and Minesweeper. Key Basic, Microsoft Mail, Admin. Wow. There's the drive. A type that is. Data E, data S. Letter.doc. Dos. DW4. Must have the data right, isn't it? E78 plus. I can see 3270 there. That's going to be a terminal emulator. Memo PC. Don't know. Lots of works and windows. Not a lot on here really. Oh, neighbourhood offices of Birmingham City Council. There you go. So a quick look at this drive. IBM DOS 5 created. 20th November 1992, 80 meg. No bad sectors. There was no such thing as scanning this last time, was there? No. So, I think I have to upgrade DOS there. Yeah, 5.02, revision 0, IBM DOS. Not even PC DOS. But the drive works.
and here we go, it's all working. Got the old original Sim City game. Haven't played this in a while. Godzilla. Well, I guess I need to wait till it leaves and rebuild the rubble. Catch you later.